we can define the seed in two ways agronomically and botanically agronomically seed is a living organ of the crop in rudimentary or undeveloped form that is used for propagation means for growing new crops while botanically seed is a fertilized ovule which contain intact embryo stored food and seed coat male and female parts of a plant participates in the development of seed the male part is called stamen which has two parts anther and filament pollen grains are formed inside the anther female part is called carpel which has three parts upper part is stigma which is sticky in nature and work to receive the pollen grains middle part is style which is long part and through which pollen tube travel towards the ovary the lower part is called ovary which is broad and swollen part and contain ovules attached on placenta at the maturity of flower pollen grains are released by dehiscence of anthers and transferred to the receptive stigma each pollen grain contain two male nuclei each male nucleus is haploid in nature embryo sac is found inside the ovule it contain three haploid antipodal cells two haploid polar nuclei one haploid egg cell and two haploid synergids double fertilization and triple fusion are the characteristic feature of angiosperms double fertilization means fertilization takes place two times in first fertilization one male nucleus fuse with egg cell and produce a diploid zygote which further develop into a diploid embryo in second fertilization another one male nucleus fuse with two polar nuclei and form a triploid pan which further develop into a triploid endosperm which provide nutrition to developing embryo pan stands for primary endosperm nucleus now what is triple fusion in second fertilization as we see that three nuclei are fused to form triploid pan this process is called triple fusion in structure of ovule embryo sac is the main part just after fertilization embryo sac contain triploid pan and diploid zygote other parts of ovule are micropyle integuments nucellus chalaza and funicle in fate of ovule parts whole of the ovule transformed into seed zygote develop into embryo pan develop into endosperm funicle make stalk of the seed nucellus form perisperm micropyle make seed pore and integuments turns into seed coat seed and grain show many differences such as seeds show high germination capacity while grains show less germinability seeds show more viability as compared to grains seeds are physically more pure than grains seeds are genetically more pure than grains grains give more nutrition as compared to seeds seeds are chemically treated hence unfit for human consumption while grains are non treated hence they are edible we can define the seed technology in this way this is a branch of agriculture botany deals with the study of production processing storage testing and distribution of improved and high quality seed 
there are many benefits of seed technology such as higher yield we can increase the yield by the use of quality seeds lower cost by the use of quality seeds cost on fertilizers irrigation machines insects and labor get reduced which result in lower the prices of seeds more income seed produced by using scientific method is treated to protect from insects and diseases as a result obtained yield is more as well as with good quality which gain more price in the market reliability farmer purchase seed from the market farmer can believe that the seed purchased by him is the quality seed correct information pedigree of obtained seed physical purity percent genetic purity percent germination percent and moisture percent related informations are given on the label attached on the packet information about cultivation methods is given on the paper within the packet